Last time you guys saw me, I was getting every single player to game in Overwatch. The reason I had that idea though was because I was inspired from Salty Fish's series from years ago, where he got pretty much every single achievement available at the time. That series was actually the reason why I had Lucio's Pixel Spray on my main account, but I never got into some of the more difficult sprays other than that. So coming off the player to game series, I thought it'd be fun and interesting to see how I handle some of these more difficult sprays that I never touched, as well as tackle some of the Pixel and Q sprays for the new new heroes that have come out since Salty Fish's series. So, here we go. New account, new stream, and for the first stream I decided to let the people from TikTok decide which spray to go for first. Which ended up being Genji, but they never said whether to go for the cute or pixel spray. So I decided to go for both. Now the easiest out of the two for me ended up being Genji's pixel spray, which you can get yourself by getting four eliminations within a single use of your Dragon Blade. Now for someone that is notoriously bad at Genji, even getting a 2k with his blade is almost impossible. But we really have to look at the wording here as this is going to pop up a lot throughout this challenge. See the wording says four eliminations, not solo kills or final blows. This means I'm pretty sure you can damage four people then pull out your blade and have your team finish him off and it will still count towards the spray. I'm not 100% sure on that so go tell me in the comments if I'm wrong or right. So something that would have taken me almost three months for me to get only took me about two games. Oh wait what? Oh wait, Sison dies. Which one's that? No, that's not the. Okay, that's not. Um, bro, what the? F wait, it is. <laughs> it is. What? Getting this in only my second game meant that I had enough time on my stream to start working towards Genji's cute spray as well, which you have to get two eliminations using his deflect to be able to get. This spray proved to be way more difficult than the first, as I was trying everything to get it and nothing seemed to work. The main play I had in mind was hoping for Bastion to be dumb enough that we could just get the team into a Zarya grab and have their Bastion pretty much just finish him off for me. It just wasn't working though. Even with dumb enough Bastions here and there that would just keep shooting, he just wasn't doing enough damage. Luckily though, as I just said before, the wording to these sprays is extremely important, as yet again, all you need to do is just a little bit of damage and have someone else finish him off, which ended up being this Reaper using his ultimate. Let's shut my little pookie. You know what, I'll, I'll just... Wait! Wait! Yes! 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 I, oh my god! Reaper Shimatre, you, you're goaded! You're actually goaded with the fucking sauce like that! Now, for the rest of this challenge, I will be spinning this wheel to find out who the next hero is going to be, as at this time, editing TikToks, doing YouTube and Twitch, all while you know trying to live a life was proving really difficult and dropping TikTok not only meant I was able to upload YouTube videos earlier as the last series was being delayed by a month longer than expected due to the amount of editing I was doing in my spare time. But now I also didn't have to wait to make a TikTok video to find out who the next hero was, cutting down the time to do this challenge by probably 10 times as we were able to do multiple sprays a stream. And the first hero that's going to be up on the wheel is Alari's Pixel spray. Now all I have to do is let my pylon heal for 8,000 healing within one game for the spray. Now 8,000 healing doesn't sound like much as some games you can get into the tens of thousands pretty easily. But this was a brand new account and at this point I wasn't even allowed to go into quick play roll queue by myself let alone competitive. So my time to get this healing has been reduced by almost two to four times. Now first match we got Samoa, a control point map. So within the first round it wasn't looking good. I already knew the game would have to go into the third round if I wanted even a chance of getting a spray. Even then it was still going to be cutting it close. That's when my tank had the idea of playing ball, running straight into the enemy team, getting to critical, running back to my pylon, getting full health and doing it again again and again and again, which led me to almost getting a spray within the second round. Thankfully though, we had control of the point, so we just kind of let the other team have it to go to a third round, where I proceeded to finally get Alari's pixel spray. That is wild. All right, how much more? 100 healing, 100 healing. We get it, we get it, we get it, we get it. Oh, shit, there it is. There it is. What? Wait, is that it? No, wait, I still have 100 healing. What the fuck is that? Next up, Diva's pixel spray. 
In order to get the spray, you need to suck up 1200 damage within one single use of Diva's Matrix. A huge mistake I made here though, was just assuming certain heroes did a ton of damage, like a Bastion in turret form or Reaper using his ultimate, which by the way, with Diva only being able to use her Matrix for up to 3 seconds max, and Bastion doing 360 damage a second, that's still just over 100 damage left if every single bullet possible is used, and Reaper's ultimate surprisingly only does 510 damage. So I spent 90% of this time going for the spray with the completely wrong approach. Luckily though, after realizing my mistake, I got a Pharah on the other team. And to anyone who doesn't know, Pharah's ultimate does 3000 damage in 2.5 seconds, more than enough for the spray. This Pharah hated using her ultimate though, so I spent half the game just doing nothing but waiting for her to use it. And when she finally did, yeah, it's, it's a perfect Ah, oh, not enough! Come here, I was too far away. Now, I didn't know how much this Pharah was going to use her ultimate, so to the best of my knowledge, she was only going to use her ultimate two more times. So the next opportunity I had, I was able to remake just in time to pull this off. Oh my god. Yes, there it is! Oh my god. Oh my god about time dude what is q spray all i need to do is hit a headshot mid ear on 300 ping this is gonna be fuck oh there we go hey if you're enjoying this so far only four percent of you guys are subscribed so if you want to help me out don't be afraid to go down and hit that subscribe button and if you don't let me know what i can do to earn that subscription down below in the comment section but back to the video. All right, next up, trap three people and eliminate them. I mean, we've been on a roll recently. I, this should be a piece of cake. I even rolled again to see which spray we would be getting next in advance for the next half of the stream. Spoiler alert, it wasn't easy. About three different streams, not easy. Now, maybe I'm just really bad at the game or somehow I would just pick the most unluckiest times where I'll just use my ultimate, where I'll just get cancelled by a random Sombra hack or just be using my ultimate the only two seconds my supports would turn around, but it should not have been this difficult. It also shouldn't have taken five ultimates from my whole team to get, but that's what it took for me to get this play. Wait, wait, that's it, 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 we got 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 it. We got it. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Good, 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 good. It's over. It's you know, oh my fing god. As I said before, I rolled the wheel again, thinking Malga spray was going to be quick. So for Doomfist cute spray, I just need to hit, not eliminate, four people with my There we go. Easy. Easy. First try. Told you it was gonna be easy, man. Oh, that was um. Anyways. <laughs> now the next one isn't going to be so easy, as I'm going for Winton's Pixel Spray, which in order to get, you need to destroy 10 turrets or traps in a single life. Now this is really easy if you've got a Symmetra on the other team. The thing is, this whole time trying to get the spray, I didn't manage to face against a Symmetra once. The whole time going for the spray as well, I just refused the entire idea of getting it entirely off Junkrat traps. As how difficult it can be to see sometimes, and the fact that it's always almost on the front line, so you have to risk your life to even get close to it. And also, the fact that some Junkrat players barely use this trap at all. I mean, it just didn't sound possible. But when you add another high cooldown turret to the mix, it starts to sound a lot easier. So in this game on Hollywood, I decided to give it a go. Wait, a Junkrat trap, guys! That's one out of ten! Fucking- <gasps> No way! No. So that there we go. No, 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 no. Something I just want to lay down real quick. <clears throat> Damn. Is that during this whole thing, I at some point miscounted how many Junkrat traps and Ilari pylons I had destroyed. So that should be five. So to me, coming into overtime, I thought I had nine traps and turrets destroyed. So when this pylon got thrown right in front of me, I had to risk it. But as soon as I was about to destroy it, I got life gripped away. And with my health going down quickly, I decided to just throw myself right into the enemy team one more time. And I finished the pylon off. 
What? No, it was right there! It was right there! Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! But when I found out I had only destroyed nine turrets, it had me almost wanting to un- The f Look, at, at the time, I had no idea that I had miscounted, so everything went as expected. I got the achievement and I freaked out. But looking back on it now, what happened? I'm sure I counted everything correctly, and yeah, I did. So, what did give me the achievement? This. This random Widow Venom mine that I didn't even see and didn't acknowledge that it counted was the exact reason why I got the spray. And I'm only finding out now writing the script four weeks later. But hey, end of the day, I got the spray. And also at some point I accidentally got his cute spray, which I need to hit five people within a single use of Primal Rage, but the footage did corrupt, so here it is, I guess. Anyways, so throughout the rest of the stream, we were able to get a couple more easy sprays, starting off with Hammond's cute spray, which I just need to roll through four enemies. And we just got it already. <laughs> See? <laughs> See, that's all we needed. Yeah, first try. So I had the rest of the game and ended up getting his pixel spray as well, which all I needed to do was absorb 1250 damage with his adaptation shield, which I only got about two and a half minutes after his cute spray. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it, bro. <laughs> For Symmetra's pixel spray, you just kind of got to have three turrets on one person, which I mean, you can just throw them on the other team's spawn and there you go. <laughs> And for a cute spray, you just need your team to use your teleporter 20 times. But they didn't say anything about, I don't know, just getting someone to spam it outside your spawn. Yep, <laughs> there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, good shit, good shit. Another easy one I got while going for Briggs cute spray was her pixel spray, which all you needed to do was get an elimination with her shield bash. Out of here. Ah, oh, that's the fucking bash one. Fuck. Which is going to be similar to her cute spray, which you just need to get an elimination with her whip shot. But the enemy has to be airborne. This was looking to be very difficult, as even if there was a character like Farah or Echo who spends most of the time in the air, this is quick play. Of course there's gonna be another pocket mercy that's just stuck on them to like a little fucking- Oh, and two to three hundred ping as well. But, hey. Thankfully, by accident, I found out that environmental eliminations count as well. Boop! Off the map. Wait, sure. Oh my god. Wait. What's this achievement? No, that, uh, that counts. That counts. That counts, what? Now, this was seven sprays all in one single stream. And even though I had my difficulties with Winton and Malga, which both took more than a single stream to get, this challenge was looking easier than expected until he showed up again. If you watch my play the game with every hero series, you may already know how much life weaver terrorized me, taking me almost an entire week just to get his play the game. And now I had just come right back to him for his pixel spray, which I need to get three life grip saves in a row without dying for. Now, some people may be going, that doesn't sound that bad. I mean, sure, a little difficult, but just let people get to critical health and just grip them and boom, you got it. Well, some other people may also be going, that's not how it works because they're 100% right. So you can't just get a save with someone being on low health. With normal saves, that's what it might look like, but you can notice that it only happens when the hero you're still healing keeps taking damage and to be exact, they have to take more damage than it would have taken to eliminate them. With life grip saves, it's the same idea as the enemy has to shoot the bubble for enough damage that it would have taken to eliminate the person that you're life gripping. But most people don't just see a life grip and start shooting at it, as there's not much reason, especially in quick play. So you kind of have to bait them into shooting the bubble. That means only gripping people with their A in a very long angle that's currently being contested, B, in an area that has been spanned with a high amount of DPS, or C, the extremely long getting shot at face first in any position. But this is the only time that it's possible to grip in short distances or just around corners and still have a reasonable chance of getting a save. But 
As you all know, I typically play around 200 to 300 ping, so that isn't going to be very consistent or reliable. What would be consistent though is option A, where I life grip say an overextended tank and a lawn angle that's been spammed, and testing this out it was very consistent. I just was never able to get it three times in a row without dying or having the game end. But I knew I wasn't likely to magically get this first go after realizing the approach I needed to take. So I put my head down expecting to take a couple days for this, which is exactly what happened. So you can imagine how happy I was to finally pull this off. Yes. I sleeping you ads for real? <laughs> Oh! Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Yeah, baby! That's what I'm talking about! That's what I'm talking about! Yeah! Now let's just take a quick break with Reinhardt's Pixel Spray, which I need to block about 7,500 damage without dying once. Which took me a couple more times than it should have, but. Still, not the most difficult spray out there. I've entered the sentence. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice, we got it. Good shit. Next up is going to take a little more time to get for us. We're going to be going after Bastion's cute spray, which I need to eliminate three people within his ultimate. Now, Loki. I hate his new ultimate. I'm not trying to sound like an OG, but old Bastion's ult was so damn good. But this new ultimate, it's difficult to even hit three people with it, let alone eliminate them. And yeah, this is a skill issue, but sometimes I just don't hit anyone at all. So this took me a couple hours, but thankfully we had the Sigma on my team and all we had to do was combine my ultimate with his and we managed to cross Bastion's Q spray off the list. It was in all huge. Yes! That's gonna be it! Yes! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew that was gonna be it! It just felt so right! Look, this video is getting a bit long, so for now we're just gonna end it there. But there's still more sprays to get, so don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one.